Hello everyone. For today's Murphy Law Monday, I want to touch on the topic of pet ownership during a divorce and specifically how it could come into play during this holiday season where a lot of people are giving gifts of puppies, dogs, cats, parrots, all types of things and what you should do to plan in the likely or unlikely event of a divorce. So specifically, let's say that you and your spouse purchase the pet during your marriage and that is going to make it be classified as what? That's right, marital property. So marital property in the state of Maryland and in the District of Columbia carries the definition of anything purchased during the marriage. And real property is of course like a house. Um, a real property is also something that the courts consider in an analysis of a divorce, but they also consider tangible property. So like furniture, any personal items or effects. So a pet is going to be defined as a personal item of a, or effect. The court will not do an analysis of a child. They will not come up with a custody arrangement. They're not going to say wife gets Monday through Friday, husband gets Tuesdays and Thursdays every other weekend. They're not going to do that. You could just think of the hundreds of thousands of cases that they would litigate if pets were an issue for custody to decide to be decided by the court. So instead, what they do is they categorize the pet as property. So in any property analysis of the court in a divorce, they first have to categorize the piece of property, they have to value it, and then they split the proceeds after a sale. So if you and your spouse do not agree about the who gets the pet or who keeps the pet, then the court is going to value that pet. They're going to do research on the value of that type of pet, whether it be a certain um, gene or a certain type of brand or whatever, whoever you purchased it from, they're gonna have you and your attorney prepare your proposal of what the value of the pet is and then they're going to sell that pet through a private or public sale through the court and then you guys will split the proceeds. There will be a court order that says that. There will not be a court order about custody. I want to just drive this point home because people think, oh well that pet was like our baby. You know we got it when we first got married and we haven't had the time to agree on it. My suggestion is that if you guys come up with a plan or a schedule, you put that in writing in a separation agreement and you present that to the court and get it signed off by the court um, so that it can be incorporated but not merged into your judgment of absolute divorce so that, you know, if there's ever a violation, you can go forward with that. But just know the court is not, again, going to have a trial and hear testimony about who keeps the pet. They're just going to value it and sell it and you guys will split the proceeds. I wanted to drive this point home, not only because it's a very frequent topic in a lot of my divorce cases, but also because we are among the holiday season and a lot of people are giving and receiving pets. So it's important to know and plan for what happens in the likely or unlikely event of divorce. If you guys are in need of legal services in the state of Maryland or in the District of Columbia, please give my office a call 240-493-9116 and www.amurphylegal.com. Thank you.